Chicago Bears fans, welcome back and bear down. As we always say, we do have semi-breaking news. Eddie Jackson and Cody Whitehair have both been cut from the team. Moves we expected, you can see there on the top left, Eddie Jackson was the yellow, 78th out of 96 safeties. Uh, we, we anticipated both of these moves coming, mostly because of the enormous size of their contract and the needs of the team. And so that was one of the biggest needs. Here's Eddie Jackson. Uh, you see the top left, that's from Sport Track now. It's official as of today, released by the Chicago Bears, clearing $12.56 million of cap space. Here's what it looked like before the, the uh, transaction happened. And there's two ways this can go. This doesn't, I haven't seen the official on it yet. Um, they're releasing him, but as of a couple years ago, maybe it was just last year, teams can designate two players that they plan to release and let them know so they can go find new teams and new deals. They can designate that post 6-1. So it's just dependent on how Ryan Poles wants to handle this. Either way, either way we're still going to pay him 1256 our cap saving can be even more if we designate it post 6-1 and defer 1.59 million of that to next year. And so either way, we're going to have 5.58 million of dead cap. But if you look right in the middle of your screen at the bottom, pre-6-1, all of that will be dead cap this year. Post 6-1, if we designate him as a post 6-1 release, still gives him rights, still gives him the ability to go find because he most likely will be a starting safety in this league somewhere. He just wasn't cutting the snuff with the Bears at the end. He, he really changed quite a bit after his big contract he signed. And there's so many players of high potential that are young players coming up. You see right there below Jackson, 31. That's his age. He's 31 years old. So we're looking for youth on this team. We're in a rebuild. We're coming to a place where we can find someone either in free agency with Xavier McKinney or in the draft with Cam Kitchens or Tyler Newbin or Javon Bullard. So many options ahead of the Bears that this is a smart and logical move. Same news with Cody White here. We won't focus too long on this screen because he's not a starter. He was a backup but got thrust into that role quite a bit. And and I give props to Cody White here because he did a good job of trying to fill multiple roles from moving to center to guard, but he's not the same Pro Bowl caliber that he was. He was originally drafted by the Bears. I'm not going to look it up, but I'm pretty sure it was 16 or 17. He's been a, a tenured uh, player for the Bears, really been a staple for us, but he was never elite as he got into the older years for him as well. Here's his contract. You see he's 32 as well. Uh, <clears throat> this is his last year. His pass block grade 55, run block 42, overall 45. That's not good with PFF. He's ranked 72 out of 78 guards. And for his, the same thing. It's official top left there, 9.146 million cleared. That's how much we're saving, but it might be um, post 6-1 designation as well. So we'll just have to see how that plays out if we eat the entire $4 million this year or if we defer 1.102, 1.102 to next year. That just really depends on what Ryan Poles wants to do in the future and how he sees free agency playing out. So we can designate up to two people. Both these guys were guys that we planned on cutting. You could see that coming a mile away, their age, their production decline, and the future of what we need to build. Center is one of the biggest, and guard, is one of the biggest addressing needs we have this year. So it's going to be exciting now that these are official, things are getting underway. Here's the new salary cap space, official. We were right around $50 million before. This is $70 million. It can change depending on how they designate those two, if it's post-6-1 designation. Either way, it's happening. They've let them know. So $70 million is right where our cap space. I think that brings up, us up to third now, third best cap space. A lot of room to work with things. Uh, but that $70 million doesn't go as far as you think, especially if we're going to sign a Lloyd Cushenberry, Connor Williams, um, or Connor Williams, one of them for $15 million a year. Um, Xavier McKinney for $11, $12 million, million a year. Curtis Samuel for $11 million a year. All of a sudden, that cap space is getting eaten up, and $15 million of that needs to go to the rookies. That's about how much the rookies are going to cost is $15 million of that cap space, So, especially with our high draft capital. So big news for the Bears, exciting news. It's, it just means things are in motion, things are happening, things are underway. A lot to come. We'll keep you posted here as it happens. Uh, I was on with Swift. Uh, we were doing a prod. A, a, a podcast together it'll be released tomorrow when the when the news broke so it'll be on there but appreciate all of you uh, following along liking the content subscribing if you haven't please do so i do appreciate all of you and until next time bear down